Well, hello, everybody okay out there? Check this out. Jake, you send these crazy pictures in. I'm in my maximizer. For right now, this picture is 922 by 1690. You could also up your camera, bro, to HD on there, okay? So it tells me everything here. So what I'm gonna do is up this picture to, let's go seven, let's go 5K. Okay, and this is a crazy picture. I haven't even looked at it. I'm doing it right in front of you. I haven't even looked at it. But what's that? It's holding. So let's explore this together. Okay, I won't take too long, too much of your time. But we got that thing up to five. Let's go up to 8K. And what we're going to do is zoom in on this, this cloudy looking chunk. We're going to go down here to noise. This is in Pixio program. I wouldn't tell anybody for five years, but now you guys know. That's what I use, and I'm gonna go to um, adjustments, and I'm gonna do this thing called clarity, and then I'm gonna do shadows. I'm gonna bring the hue just up. I wanna turn it back into purple, right? I'm gonna bring the exposure up a little bit, it gets more definition, and more contrast. Okay, watch it. What do you can see? What he's doing now. Whatever this thing is, it's blowing smoke. I keep seeing it. It's got a claw or some kind of device down here. It's got this arm on the other picture. Let's see if I can find the other picture. This picture right here I showed you. Okay, I'll show you that one in a minute. Um, so anyways, I'm doing a little thing on this. Let's go uh, noise reduction. Go real close, not much noise. Um, let's just take it down a little bit. Let's go to adjustments. I'm going to take this thing called clarity. Look at this thing, guys. Creepy as heck. Where are you at? Where are you at from, uh, Jake? Put in the comments where you're from. I forget, man. You know, I talked to a thousand people a day, it seems like. That's some creepy, creepy picture. I'm going to put some contrast on it. Look at this. Now on the other one, you had an arm going down like this, and it was pouring smoke out over the land. Look at that, guys. It's pouring smoke right over the land. You're feeling weird. You're feeling queasy. You're feeling sick. This could be your problem. Jake, I think this is your problem. Put a little sharpness on there. While you live by this field, you need to, get, you need to move out now. Is this the plume coming down? Now, I'm going to do something here. Let me see. Um, I'm gonna do a little more sharpness. If you do too much sharpness, it ruins the picture. So you know, it makes it all choppy looking. This might take. Um, you know, you ha everybody has an opinion on this because everybody does it different, and nobody's right or wrong. It's just good stuff. It's fun. Look at that thing. Look what's going on. Look what's going on, Jake. All right, that's enough of that one, all right? Yeah, let's do some more. Okay, we're gonna save that. Let's see if we can clear that up. We can clear that up. Everything else will be clear around it. Let's see. That's noise. Let's go with clarity. And then let's do a little sharpness. I'll use this as my guide. Let's see what we end up with. And then on your noise is usually a feature that says color noise. This one don't have it. So I'll have to do that on the other one. The radius uh, goes down to the smaller. See how it just kind of gave it more of a foggy clear look? Let's see how our picture looks after that. Our picture looks the same. Now for the picture's sake, what I do is I go up and I want to make it a little bit darker. So sometimes contrast will go darker. Sometimes it will go, yeah, it's going darker. So I'm going to do contrast down all the way. Shadow down all the way. That's some creepy picture, dude. Woo! What is this thing going on in the sky? Blowing smoke on the ground. Okay, if you don't believe that, let me save this. I'm going to take a minute because this thing is like 8K, right? Okay, we got an AK picture going in there. 
Watch how long it is. Is it a bar? See how fast this computer is screaming. I don't remember what brand I bought, but it was it's good. It's a Intel HP Envy. This thing is the best computer I've used so far for making a movie. Anyway, check that out, guys. I'll talk to you later. Remember, follow, follow, follow. You friend me now, follow me. Check this out. Jake, this is a crazy picture you sent me. I turned the sky purple because I could really pick up that green. You got an object down there. Maybe right there. Right there. And uh, look at it from far away. It looks like it's pouring out some kind of smoke. Now look where the smoke's coming from. And the cloud, see I put it through AI and it showed me the cloud was green. I should have been able to go back, but I guess I messed that up. I did a whole bunch of filtering. I was able to go backwards and show you, but it's like two hands right there. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Keep watching. It's going to get weirder. Okay, here's another one that he did. Um, this was a really good close-up. Um, let me see what I could do with it right in front of you. Uh, AI shows it like this, okay? Pixio AI. Which is pretty close to how I see it. But then you take it to the tools. Let's do uh, shadow down. Really get a look at this thing. I'm going to go contrast up. Should darken. Yeah, we'll contrast it up. To get all the way back down, that's what you see. I contrast it all the way up. Look at that, guys. You can see the surface of this thing. You see now you get the squares? You take a clarity if you're in, a, in Pixio. You little. Okay, and I'm going to go to vi Vibrance and you'll see the real colors around the sun. There you go. And there's a trip. That's what's around that. I don't know if it's a sun, it's a sun simulator or whatever. This is not our moon right here. No way, no how. You turn that clarity down, it just smooths it out a little bit, but I like a little bit of rough edge on it. It's a good shot, GM. Guy catches some good pictures. But okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save that to my desktop. And I'm gonna put it up on your site. All right, that's it on that one. Okay, this picture was sent in by Gianluca Marvose. I call him GM. Okay, anyways, let's go over here. I'm gonna take it to the 5K, and I've maximized it to. I didn't. I didn't zoom in. It's 3K 30, 3064 by 3435. It's six times 38 bigger. The original was um, 4080 by 538. This picture, I put it in the maximizer. I started to adjust it. I'm gonna give you a close up, and this is what I got. Really good shot. Not fake, not CGI. There's no cuts around the edges. Um, it's just a good clear up shot, you know. So let me see if I could take another one and do it from the start and I'll come back okay, hang on hang on Snoop okay now I'm so fascinated by these pictures here's the collection in the original color so that boom there's two of them right there yeah wow well, they're over your house bro you know the name of Jesus if you don't learn the name of Jesus pretty quick that thing's really weird coming down right there. There you go. That one's wide open flying. So these could be entities. These could be angels. These could be bugs. They're not bugs because I've never seen a bug that big as a branch. So that, forget the bugs. You see the bird in the tree right here. Wow. Keep going. Okay, that things are moving. These are like the ones I saw up in uh, Swiss Alps. It's like a spring day and four years ago and these things that look like mosquitoes were people size and they were moving all over the place. That's the original one I got. So that's what you're looking at guys. Wow. Keep sending it in folks. I'm gonna show it on my channel. 
I'll put the link up every time I do something with you peoples. Good job, Barry. Welcome to my channel. It's crazy, ain't it? So check this out. Barry sent these pictures up on Facebook. I got it that far. Check this thing out. And I'll have this video. I'll put it right over his, his pictures. But that's what he caught. And it's a bunch of them moving quickly. So all I did was do a little bit of vinaigrette, you know, like, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna go into my, um, where I could alter it and fix it, and make it more clear for you. I'm going to highlights. I'm gonna bring, uh, about there. Okay, see the little crisscross? I have a thing called clarity, and if you use it too much, look how it does that. You could use it the opposite way, so clarity can go on the minus side, and you get rid of some of those squares. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to go into 5K mode, and we're going to try to nail this thing. Contrast it all the way up. So if it goes dark, I'm going to contrast it down all the way. I'm going to do the vibrance. It gives it a little bit more clarity. Okay, we're getting it, guys. We're getting it. That's what you're really looking at. It's that clarity. Another thing you could use is, um, you guys know, noise reduction. So noise will smooth that out. And what I do is I go back to my clarity. See if I can find the clarity. This is somewhere here. I'm not looking right. Clarity, contrast. I'll have to bring the contrast up some. It's definitely an object. It's not a bird. It would be an angel. Bring the contrast up a little bit. Pretty much it. Wow, wow, wow. If I go all the way down on highlight, it gives you that, but let's see it more in a natural setting. I don't use, let me see, bring vibrance down some. That's what you're looking at, guys. Okay, talk to you later.